in the Philippines, wala masyadong nakalabas na naka-wheelchair. Pag nilalabas ako, I would get the stairs. And then they'd be, you know, the stairs of Awa, the stairs of Ongho. But, ngayon, I just met. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So, hi, my name is Kat. I'm just a person who is living with a disability, trying to live her best life. I was born with a rare congenital disease. Part of my spinal cord did not develop properly, so I don't have full control over my legs. I can actually use a cane or a walker or a crutches in order to walk. But I realized being in a wheelchair gets me faster and farther. A common idea about persons with disabilities is that they are limited in their capabilities. For Kat Hernandez, her disability is an opportunity to show that she can still live a full life. Accepting her disability was a journey for Kat especially since she grew up around people who could walk. Hello. Hi. Hello. I actually didn't want to associate myself with the community before because I was scared. As I grew older, na I guess the maturity and also the wins and the mistakes and the failures and all of that, life in general. I guess it made me look at it in a deeper, persp a different perspective. Kat is not only an advocate for persons with disabilities, she is a doctor and an educator. Becoming a doctor was a childhood dream, which is now her reality. Nung Monday po, um, tuloy-tuloy yung headache na kailangan mong uminom ng gamot. Tama po ba? Opo. So, biogesic yung ininom mo? Yes po. Uh, like I mentioned, I was in and out of the hospital. Nababad ako. <laughs> Nababad ako sa hospital life and I was so naaliw with the white coat and, you know, and I wanted to also be on the other side, not be the patient. But even when she completed medical school, she still experiences discrimination. One notable experience was when she began a job as a company doctor deployed to different clients. Nung pagpasok ko doon on my first day, the HR looked at me. And with that, alam mo yun, parang tinignan ako up and down, saying, ah, kaya mo ba talaga? That night, I got a message from my employer telling me that they're asking to change doctors. And I asked why. So I got, parang, you know, I got insulted. Di ba? Parang, wow. Uh, my employer vouched for me and said, now we're not um, going to change her. Kat is independent. She can do many things on her own. I have the privilege of being able to drive, so that is um, very important to me. Na. So driving along with my use of a wheelchair, it expanded my horizon. This is how I drive. So I use this mechanism. It acts like an 
extended hand that will press on the gas and the brake. So by pressing forward, I can control the gas and the brake. So this push, this is for brake, and then this is for gas. And while her legs may not work well, she's still physically strong. In 2023, she began training with a para powerlifting team. Uh, going to the gym gave me my gave me more allowed me to have more endurance to be stronger to get around faster quicker with my wheelchair and that was so very liberating because you know hindi ako easily pagod so I built that endurance and I want I I still want more so that's why I choose to continue with para power lifting. Kat still understands that she comes from a place of privilege. Having the support system she has and the option to drive is not something all wheelchair-bound Filipinos have. One thing Kat wants able-bodied people to remember is to get consent before helping a person in a wheelchair. Sometimes, even in good faith, it can make them feel belittled if they know they can do it themselves. permission like or just ask hey do you need help and listen and listen talaga if they say no kaya ko with the right amount of respect and support for the PWD community Kat believes that disabled Filipinos can experience a country where they can be treated equally Michelle Abad Rappler Pasig City <laughs>